Check from the gyms in the back. They left already. Good enough. All right. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to your 2019 Carcassonne Heat One. Sorry, without the app, I'm completely lost this year. breaking their necks. My wife, Rebecca, who also will be passing out papers, especially keep the aisles clear for her. And also Greg Crow, I don't care. <laughs> also special Click. thanks to the con staff, and special thanks to the hotel staff for doing a great job. about how I didn't know whether the T 
it started the <laughs> <laughs> I've made that joke every year for the last eight years, and I didn't want to make it again this year. But now I have, so I hope you're happy. <laughs> For numbers in the title, or as answers, I want you to spell them out. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, not so mega, a hit, The Sixth Day, a movie you haven't thought about in about 20 goddamn years, <laughs> would be spelled out as The Sixth Day, and would start with an S. And now you can go back to forgetting that movie ever existed, for which Arnie himself would thank you. <laughs> For people and characters, it's the first letter of the last name. So, for example, character actor, uh, comedic actor Ben Stiller, his character is a white footman in Dodgeball, Derek Zoolander in Zoolander, or Greg Fokker in Meet the Parents, would start respectively with a G, a C, or an F. And his character, the Tim Jingman, in the movie Envy, a movie you also haven't thought about in about 20 years, described by reviewers as one long poop joke. <laughs> percent rating on Rotten Tomatoes, you can now go back to forgetting about, for which I'm sure he would thank you as well. Now, sometimes it's a little bit unclear with the person's name. So, for example, Jay-Z. Jay? Z? Not sure. So feel free to invoke the Dr. T rule, which it or is it? <laughs> so in this case, Jay-Z would start with either J or a Z for choice. Now I realize the difference between people's personal names and titles of things can get a little bit confusing. So for example, King Louis the Ninth of France, canonized as St. Louis, would start with an L. The city named after it, St. Louis, would start with an S. <laughs> Also, we tend to use, or we want you to use common names. So this is St. Louis. It starts with an S. It is not the gateway to the West. <laughs> okay, technically it is the gateway to the West, and I don't want to disparage St. Louis, but don't use that as an answer. It is also not the loop starting with an L. Do not also put in fourth city starting with an F, because not only is that a nickname, it's kind of embarrassing. Because the best they can say is that they're fourth. <laughs> All right, once you have that down, you will have five minutes to do your best to fill in as many boxes as you can, each box with one answer, all right? Multiple answers do not help. In fact, we will mark them all wrong because we're jerks like that. Once you have put one answer, once the five minutes, not once you have put one answer, it wasn't five minutes. Then I will call time. You will find someone else at your table and you will pass it to them. And I will go through and I will announce the answers for every category. You will, with the paper you receive, you will know which ones are correct, which ones are wrong. In some cases, you may say, I think this answer is actually good. In that case, circle it. The GMs will come back and look at it and we will judge you. <laughs> and also judge your answer. <laughs> Once you finish checking out all the boxes, in the upper right hand corner, write the total score, including all check marks and including all circles. And because you will forget that in five minutes, we'll go over it again after the first round. All right? <laughs> Oxygen. 
I worked real hard to find a picture to put in here. <laughs> Didn't work out so good. So. Have the logo for Oxygen TV network. <laughs> is listed in the Oxford English Dictionary because the DSM-4 was too hard to figure out. For example, pyrophobia, the fear of fire. Phobophobia, the fear of fear. Chronophobia, what will, you will have three minutes into your time when I shout out two minute warning. World's largest 100 cities. That's as of 2019 by Wikipedia. Please do not attempt to edit Wikipedia. <laughs> All right, for foreign cities, please use the current modern English spelling. So, for example, this is the capital of Maharashtra. Maharashtra. Thank you. I had that written down, but we forgot about it. Here. Oh, are you playing? So this is the capital, no. six, the largest city in India, sixth largest city overall. It is not Bombay, it is Mumbai. It starts with an M. We will not take it as a B answer anymore. Alright, last one. Characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So by superhero name or by super identity, but not by both. So this is Bruce Banner. This is the Hulk. Bruce Banner is a fine B name, the Hulk is a fine H name. Do not try to give me both of them in the same color, all right? Superhero names with titles, act like title names if you want. This is Captain Marvel, starts with a C. Maybe she starts with an M. I don't know. Does she actually major in the movies? I don't understand how that title works. Finally, all uh, non-heroes are fine. I know I've been showing heroes. But as long as they were named in the credits, they're fine. This is Pepper Potts. She would be a fine key answer. She's a goddamn hero! She's yeah. a... <laughs> 70s car girl number one. Not an acceptable answer. All right, are you ready for your letters? Your letters are... A. K. N. R. And X. We'll give you we'll give you a little extra time on that table.
two-minute warning. <laughs> no phobia. <laughs> seconds. No. Remember that wrong guesses don't count against you and sometimes abuse the hell out of the GMs. <laughs>
okay, you're Canadian, whatever. Oh, wait, you no. British Canadian is the same thing. Raptophobia. 
Raptophobia, the fear of magic, is not actually fear of stage magic, but fear of David Copperfield. <laughs> because that's not a phobia. Fear of raptophobia actually comes from the Greek word, root word for wooden wands. It's actually the fear of having a wand waved at you. Which means raptophobia doesn't just mean fear of magic, it's also fear of being hit with the stick. <laughs> I'm not making that up. And then for X, xenophobia. Fear of Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, Ahmedabad in India, Alexandria in Egypt, and then Cora in Atlanta, no, not in Atlanta. Okay, Kabul in Afghanistan, and Karachi in Pakistan, Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Kolkata. Professor, Professor, Professor. 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 Professor.